Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday so it is weigh in day. We're going to talk about my week, we're going to talk about my weigh in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories. That is how I lost and maintain my 140 pound weight loss. Highly, highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, support to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things are also down in that description box as well as my Facebook group. Come on over, join us. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a very good week. A couple of housekeeping things before we jump into the video. You are seeing this on Friday. I am filming this on Wednesday because I actually head out tomorrow to California for a few days for a nutrition conference. So I'm actually pre-filming my weigh-in a little bit. So it's only been about four or five days since I weighed in last, but I still wanted to give you a weight update, especially prior to going on a little vacation, a little trip to see what happens next week once I return home. So I will be gone for a few days on a little mini vacation. Secondly, there will not be a meal prep on Monday because I am gone. I actually don't arrive home until really late Sunday night. Sunday is typically when I film my meal prep so that it can go up on Monday morning for you. So there will not be a meal prep this week. So I wanted to get the housekeeping things out of the way before we actually hop in to today's video. So like I said, I actually had a really good week this week. I was on track with my food. I actually shared in Wednesdays what I eat in a day that I do have quite a few trips coming up in the next few months. Aside from the one I'm currently on, I'm actually going to Hawaii the beginning of October. I'm going to Texas in November. I'm making a really fun trip to Atlanta to see my girlfriend for her 50th birthday in February. So I have quite a few trips and things coming up that kind of drive my motivation and I want to set little mini goals and things for those trips. So I've been really focusing on getting in my protein and again that whole 80-20 approach to my diet. 80% good whole healthy food and then 20% you know those fun foods, foods that I love because I'm all about balance and eating the foods that I enjoy while losing and maintaining my weight loss. So I've been really heavily focused on good food this week and again reaching my protein goal and really making that a priority so that I'm full and satisfied and so that I can lean down and feel my best, look my best when I go on all of these trips. I also have been, as always, really into my activity and my fitness. I actually played pickleball this last week and then I did a 5K with my bootcamp group this last weekend and it was so much fun. It was in Tucson. It was a huge event. It was a 5K, 10K. It was hot, not gonna lie, and it was hilly. It was definitely a challenging 5K, but it was so fun. I'm so blessed to have such an amazing, supportive fitness group and friendship group that just aligns with who I am and my goals in my community. I'm really, truly blessed to have these girls. And as always, it was such a good experience and a great way to get in about 8,000 steps by eight in the morning. I went to boot camp. I did all my regular activity. And in fact, the nutrition conference that I'm going to this weekend, there's a Zumba class one day, and then there's an actual aerobic strength training kind of hit training class the other day. Because it's nutrition focused, they always focus also on fitness and exercise and moving your body. Body. So I'll be able to get in lots and lots of activity even while at this conference. This last week, really, truly, I was extra, extra active, extra, extra sore. I ended up taking my Motivate Recovery a couple of times because my body just gets sore when I push it to the limits. But I like pushing it to the limits because that's how muscle grows and that's how we increase endurance and physical activity. But like I said, after the 5k, especially my legs were tired, my feet were tired. And so I gave myself a beautiful foot massage when I got home from my 5k and actually gave myself a foot massage a couple of other days this week. But this isn't your ordinary foot massage. This I did right here in my office under my desk while I worked using this contraption right here. Now you might be thinking, 
That's interesting. That doesn't look like much, but let me tell you how incredible this is. So this is the Clavizo EMS Foot Massager. Now I have quite a few things from the Clavizo brand, including their face facial cleans, cleanser brush, which I love. So when I saw that they have this available, I immediately thought of Troy because this foot massager immediately relieves chronic foot pain, reduces muscle spasms and discomfort, eliminates numbness and tingling sensations, and Troy does suffer from neuropathy. So this is actually something recommended by his doctor. It improves blood circulation, reduces swelling and inflammation. You can get healthier legs in just about 15 minutes. So it utilizes low frequency electrical pulses, which targets trigger points, providing lasting relief by easing tension at its root. It's great for plantar fasciitis, neuropathy, and inflammation. Also an excellent option for high blood pressure because it reduces your leg swelling, it boosts your circulation, and stimulates your lymphatic drainage. 96% of users actually had instant relief and there is a 30 day money back guarantee. I love that it soothes cramps and enhances foot comfort after re for recovery post workout. It reduces water retention, cellulite, and enhances your leg's overall appearance. It can even help improve your sleep quality by alleviating leg pain and calming your nerves. Again, fantastic for neuropathy, which is why we purchased it for Troy. It's great for people who stand or sit for a long period of time if you have neuropathy. Diabetics, because it helps, again, promote better blood circulation. And it's great for people suffering from venous in insufficiency, which again is Troy. Uh, great for plantar fasciitis, cramps, osteoarthritis related pain, and other foot and leg pain. You simply connect the device to the floor mat. It snaps on, place both feet on the mat, and you can ingest the intensity with the plus or minus and switch modes using the M or the mode button. You can enjoy a therapeutic massage at your convenience. Like I said, I love it under my desk. You can use it 10 to 15 minutes a day, about three to seven times per week. There's eight different massage modes and 19 intensity levels, depending on what you're looking for. It's really affordable. The other ones we were looking at were well over $100, and this one is currently on sale for $44.99, and any additional discounts will be linked down in the description box for you. This little beauty right here has been a game changer for me and a game changer for Troy. Like I said, his doctor recommended that he gets an electric muscle stimulator for his neuropathy, for his legs, for his feet. I will tell you, he's used this every single day since this arrived on our doorstep, and I use this several times this week. Again, I love how portable it is. It can be used anywhere. You can take it with you. I almost took this with me on my trip. I did leave it behind for Troy, though, because he loves it probably more than I do. It's affordable, and it is exceptional. So I will have this linked down in the description box for you with a discount. Before we talk about my weigh in, if you remember last week, I actually had gained five pounds while my friends were here visiting. And then I was able to take all of that off throughout the course of the week with the exception of one pound. So I was actually up one pound at the end of last week. So Put a pin in that when we get to my weigh-in. But first, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is an easy way to re-energize your journey. This is coming at a perfect time because I just mentioned how having trips and things planned motivates me and energizes me and re-energizes me for my journey. Helps me stick with my goals a little bit more. And we're also entering the worst time of the year for weight loss. October, November, December. That is the black hole of weight loss with all of the holiday events. So we want to keep our journey fresh and re-energized. There's going to be bumps along the way. Our journey is not going to be beautiful and perfect and fabulous and butterflies and sunshine all the time. There's going to be bumps along the way. There's going to be times where we're just not in it, where we don't want to do it anymore, where we're frustrated. And that is when we need to lean on these tips and tricks. Number one, think about three good things that happened to you today. Even the small stuff, counts. Number two, write down each and add details, where, when, why, or how they happen, who you were with, even what you were wearing or doing. And number three, reflect on how you felt as you experienced each and how you feel now looking back. Life can be busy. A weight loss journey can be really hard and really challenging. And we naturally as human beings focus on the negative. We don't focus on the positive things, although we should just human nature. We naturally don't. So by using these three steps to really think about what went right for you, what did you do to do those things that went right? And how can you implement that in the future allows you to not only reflect, but also re-energize your passion for your weight loss journey. And also think about your why. Why are you on this weight loss journey? 
know, this health journey? Or why are you trying to become a healthier person overall? Keep that at the forefront of your mind because your why is what's going to drive you to reach your goals. Being grateful, pausing and reflecting on all the good things in our life not only can help us mentally with our mindset with weight loss, but can really help us stay focused and energized and reach our goals. Every day, just think about one good thing that happened. What was one good thing that you did? Maybe you drank all your water. Maybe you exercised. Maybe you tracked your calories, your macros, your points. Maybe you stayed on track. Maybe you only had one splurge instead of multiple splurges. Think about the one thing that you did good every day, and I promise you that's going to put you in a really positive mindset, but will also help re-energize your drive for your success. I want to share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, intentionally pausing to notice good things is one way to practice gratitude. And the more we do it, the more automatic it becomes. Number two, practicing gratitude helps us focus on the big picture and increases overall happiness. And number three, gratitude also improves our ability to overcome challenges and cope with setbacks. Being grateful, having gratitude is almost as important as tracking our food, drinking our water, moving our body. It really helps with the mindset portion of our weight loss journey, which sometimes can have a bigger impact even than the foods that we're choosing. So be grateful, be proud, be mindful, be happy, and remember one good thing that happened every single day, and this will help you feel better, look better, and reach your goals. I really like this topic. I always think that we need to refocus and re-energize. We're never 100%, 100% of the time. In fact, we're never going to be 100%, 100% of the time. So to focus on the things that drive us to re-energize and focus on our journey are really, really important. So now let's talk about my weigh-in. Like I mentioned, put a pin in the fact that I had gained five pounds, lost it all, and was up one Friday of last week, which was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday four days ago. Over the course of the last four days, really focusing on protein, really focusing on my 80-20 approach to whole real food, moving my body, giving myself self-care with this amazing foot massager. All of those things really helped re-energize me and get me refocused on my weight loss journey. And I mentioned last week that I thought by the time the next weigh-in rolled around that I would have that one pound gone. And that is exactly what has happened. In the course of four days, I have lost that one pound. I am now back to the weight that I was prior to having that little mini staycation with my friends. So I maintained my weight so far this week. Now, knowing that it's only Wednesday, it's a high likelihood that I would have had a little bit of a loss potentially by Friday. But at this point in my journey, I am so happy maintaining all of the weight gain from a vacation is gone. It isn't a weight gain, it's a weight fluctuation. And I mention this all the time, that we can't only live and die by the scale because it's only one measurement of our progress and it's not always accurate. Look at the fact that I gained five pounds and got rid of all of it in about a week and a half. That is not a weight gain. Again, that is a weight fluctuation. So I couldn't be happier with being right back to where I was and maintaining my weight, losing that one pound that my weight was up last week. So in my opinion, the last four days have been a huge win. I'm going to go on this vacation. I'm going to enjoy myself. I don't know what's going to happen with my weight. We shall see at next week's weigh-in. Because my relationship with food is healed, I give myself food freedom. I'm going to enjoy my vacation. I'm going to be mindful. I am packing protein shakes so that I can have my protein coffee in the morning. And fun fact, spoiler alert, I'm actually going to film my first day, the day of travel to my destination and what happens when I get to my destination, what food I choose, how I navigate traveling and losing weight and staying on track. So stay tuned because that special video will be out a little bit later this month, kind of a what I eat in a day while traveling. I get that question a lot, how I navigate that, and I'm going to share it with you during this trip I'm currently on. So stay tuned for that video. And now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think of these tips and tricks to reignite, re-energize your weight loss journey? And of course, let me know your tips and tricks that you do to help with mindset and to keep you motivated. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on so you never miss a weigh-in every Friday or a future video. Video. Make sure you're in my Facebook group and you follow me over on Instagram because I'll be posting lots of pictures of my little vacation so you can come along with me on my vacation and then stay tuned for that what I eat in a day while traveling. You'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite healthy things. And again, my Facebook group is also linked down in the description box. Thank you for watching friends. Happy Friday, happy weekend. And I will actually see you in tomorrow's massive, massive grocery haul. And I will have a video out on Sunday. There will just not be a meal prep on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next time.
Bye.